Hey you guys, all right, so I feel like today we have so much to talk about and yet there really wasn't a plan at all for this, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I think this is gonna be like one of the best ever. We're talking about like food and home stuff and some personal updates and some hard stuff and some other oh, that's good. But I'm just saying like, I just feel like I have a lot to talk to you guys about like catching up and um, you know, I feel like these videos for me, I've always felt like, and I say this all the time, are such a, I'm going to put my hair up, um, they're such like a, a release or such like a, like I feel like I'm at dinner with my friends or whatever, like catching up for the week. Like if you had a girlfriend that, you know, this is not going to be perfect. Is my hair ever perfect? No. That you caught up with over the week or that you liked to hang out with or whatever, you know, and it's, like a huge crack in the corner of my ceiling. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, um, there's something that we can just talk and like, you know, I don't know. And I, I just feel like we we do very specific things here a lot of the times. But I I just love the fact that like I don't always have this like big plan and. I don't have even a top, even when I do videos like this, I have topics of things I want to talk about. And today, you know, last night when I was going to bed, I was like, what am I going to film about tomorrow? But yet I was so excited to film just to talk to you guys, just like you would like to meet up with a friend and talk and get caught up. So, um, anyways, I, listen, I have some big beauty updates too. Some things that I want to share with you guys. Y'all gotta get these. They're from Target. They're the Good and Gather Sparkling Waters. The Cucumber Mint is so good. The Cucumber Mint would make a really good, like, I'll have to try that, like, a really good mixer. Like, you could just, like, pour whatever you like in there. It'd be so good. But this one, okay, there's, there's a strawberry guava that's really good, but the one that's called Tropical Cherry almost has, to me, like, a Dr. Pepper-ish taste to it. And I'm really picky about sparkling waters. Like, they're not all great. You know what I mean? This one's good. I should film later at night, and then we can do, like, a like a cocktail of the night or drink of the night. Am I covering up Waylon's bowls? Yes, okay, you can't tell what's back there. He eats in the dining room, his bowls are in here. He likes to be very by himself when he eats. So we're never in here. So I've got home stuff that I wanna share with y'all, some things that you've noticed, um, some updates, some new things that I got. Um, a few things like that, that off, off the top of my head I knew I wanted to share. Something that y'all need to grab before they sell out, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, I just want to update, like this has been the weirdest, I'm going to tell you about stuff going on around the house and um, some things, just some things that we're doing. So, like I'm not, okay, I'm a complainer about little things, you know what I mean? Like I'll, no, this, that, whatever, but I'm not a per, overall I'm very positive, like I'm not a person that's going to say, oh, this has been the worst year ever, this has been a terrible week, or ugh, my life. And I changed a lot after I had a baby. You know, you're just so thankful for things in your life. You're thankful. Not that if you complain, you're not thankful, because I certainly do enough, like, complaining about stupid stuff. But, like, when it comes to big things or whatever, it's just hard for me to come on here and be like, I had such a hard week. Now let's talk about all this frivolous stuff. Um, or even say I've had a hard week when there's people that have actual hard weeks or when there's been times in my life when I've had actual, you know, what I'm problems or something. And when you go through things like that, it's just... So you realize so many things are so trivial. I'm not talking about talking about beauty stuff. I'm not talking about that. I think that we all need that. We all need fun. We all need, you know, just because you do something like that doesn't mean that you're not upset about something else. But um, I'm just saying for me, it's hard to come on here and be like, Ugh. and you guys don't even know the half of a lot that does go on in my life. You know, I certainly don't or have ever shared every single thing and nor I don't think should I or should anyone really. I mean, or if you think that someone is just sharing every facet of their life on YouTube, you're very naive. Like nobody's doing that. People are showing you exactly what they want to show you or what they're comfortable showing you. And I have always been kind of like, open and you know I, I like to share you know the broad things I'm not gonna pretend like I don't have a family or I'm not gonna not show my child if, if she's around or you know oh, we don't do that but I don't make content out of them and I also at the same time don't overexpose every little thing that we're doing because I think that's where you lose a lot of your like sanity and you know so I'm very happy with what I've done over the years and stuff and I, I like our balance I like what we do but there's a lot of hard things that I've gone through over the years that I haven't talked about on here that people 
you know, and maybe one day, like, I will talk about it. I just feel like you don't owe anyone your struggles. You don't owe anyone anything, first of all. You share what you want to share. It doesn't make you any more real, because there's a lot of people that put all their dirty laundry out there, and that's tactic for being viewed a certain way as well. So I'm just saying, just feel what, whatever's real for you, whatever. But I guess my point is, is, you know, don't ever assume that there's, oh, you don't have any problem, like, oh, that's the least of your, oh, great, like, first of all, well, you're talking about a new handbag, which I'm not necessarily, or this or that or whatever. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Okay. But yeah, I mean, there are real issues that I deal with, and this has been just such a roller coaster. Honestly, a roller coaster much of my adult life with something particular in my life with a with someone in my life not not Brad not my I, I say all the time I feel like my home and my marriage and my family like my family my husband and my child it is pretty damn good and I feel sometimes like I pinch myself and I think and I've even had people in my family or people in other friends of mine that say well you got it that way because you do have to worry about other things or there are some other things going on that I do worry about with people and um, you know you try your best to help people to be there for them to do things for them in certain ways but you just I just feel like I'm always slapped in the face and every time I try to reach back out or do something it's just people show you their true colors you gotta be there for people that need help that want to accept help but if there's someone that has a track record of con consistently doing something that hurts people that you love and they're not doing anything to help themselves and you can't make them help themselves. They don't want to even admit that they have, you cannot keep throwing yourself down and no one understands, you know, unless if they've been through it or they have a family member that deals with these things. No one understands how hard it is. So it's been tough. It's just been the weirdest week. And then the most heartbreaking thing happened. I know this is just like, I'm not trying. I just want to explain to you guys where my head's at and what's been happening. Like, my best, best friend that I grew up with that really formed, I think, a lot of who I am. Like, all formative, I don't know. Like, I've had, and I'm a girl's girl, okay? When I say that, I don't have a lot of weird girlfriends that I collected, short term girlfriends. Not that that's weird. Because I've met some people that have become dearest friends, you know, um, later in my life. But, some of my very best friends I've known since we were kids and we've always maintained that relationship and um, you know but this friend I met in, in middle school just best friends vacations together always at her house like drove together to school every day and just like my she she was you know she didn't we just bonded and it was just she was just so special to me and then went to the same college and um, I've kind of talked about this a little here and there. And out of respect, you know, like I said, I'm not going to ever um, explain all of the details of that. But um, just out of respect, you know what I mean? Like, but she was the friend that I've talked about that was murdered and when I was in college. And that was just, that changed me a lot. That gave me a lot of anxiety. It gave me a lot of, I dealt with a lot of stuff during that. And I, a lot... You know what I mean? I don't know. I've talked about that a lot here and there. I think sometimes when you suffer such a like, like a shocking thing and you kind of hold that in, it kind of manifests in other ways. Like you might be a little nervous to go out in public. You're, you get that weird, or I had that weird fear of like, I'm going to throw up in public or I'm going to, and you wouldn't think, does that, why does it have to do with that or whatever? But it's like, you're just bottling up so much that you know you could freak out at any moment. I don't want to freak out in public. I don't know. It's just, it was the weird, craziest thing. And then, you know, you overcome some of that. I, I overcame that and I've never had anxiety again and it took years, you know what I mean? Um, and you get through things, right? But like, and I'm 30, I'm going to be 37 this year. That was certainly a lot, that was a very long time ago. I think we were 22, uh, 20, yeah, it was the year, no, 21. So anyways, it's just, it's, it's sad. It's so, it's terrible. Um, I was extremely close with her mother and father like a second family, you know, and her mother actually, I ended up later when I did my student teaching in college, a few years after Lauren passed, we, she, her mother just happened to be at that school that year. And so I got to kind of reconnect with her. That was her first year back. And it was just, you don't even understand. Like you just, I know so many of you do, but it's just the worst 
it was just such a heartbreak. And I found out yesterday that her father had passed of COVID. And, you know, and her mother had, she was in the hospital as well. I think they, they both had it and he ended up passing. It's just, you know, I I can't imagine, my heart is just breaking for her mother, what they've gone through, you know, and I know, I mean, I'm not even gonna get into this, but like, seeing her dad over the year, just real, I mean, hell on earth, right? To lose a child, first of all. Um, I feel so, like, I feel at peace for him because I just know that he hasn't been for, how could you be, you know? I'm just heartbroken for her mother. And like, I know it's like, why am I talking about this? I just, you know, it is like, I'm someone that's like, I follow the rules. I'm gonna do what I have to do. I feel like I'm, I'm you know, it's so stupid that our economy, you know, it's so stupid that businesses have suffered, that people are, you know, just the ways things were handled, did it help? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's like, it seems like things, you know, I've heard things are worse than ever now. And it's like, I didn't want to think that, but it's like, I've known so many people recently. One of my good friends had it actually, at the, you know, early in the summer, but now one of her kids has it. And like the schools are opening, closing, opening, and, and, and it's like, you know, we have a whole office of people that we know that the whole office it wiped through the whole office and it's like I know that's a thing like and people are not everyone is dying the survival rate is like I'm a realist okay like I'm not gonna be freaking out but I'm gonna take precautions um, but when you see someone or when you know someone that it's just heartbreaking you know what I mean and it's real and it's just like and then, you know, everything else that's been going on, you know, I try to get, I mean, I, oh my gosh, y'all, we're going to get into all this fun stuff, I promise, but I just want, you know, I just, I can't not, sometimes, like, I, do, I don't talk about all this heavy stuff, but I just wanted to today, I don't know, I just wanted, I just felt like it was the right, I don't know, I just, just it's so heavy on my mind. Um, and with the other thing, you know, like, I, I'm, it's my story to tell what's going on and what I've had to go through but at the same time like I am respectful of other people you know I'm not gonna come on here and just but you know I think honestly I feel so alone and a lot of the, Brad has like been such a rock for all these years and my friends and people understand what I've gone through and what other people have gone through with this situation um, I'm talking about what I was talking about before but like a family member that has an issue that's not getting any help, that's hurting people and hurting you, and they don't understand. And it's like, when is enough enough? Especially when, you know, your parents are still married and, you know, your grandmother lives with them. It's just, it's, it's hard. These people that I care about that I still want to have relationships with that are being hurt by the, you know, you just... Sorry, I had to change my battery. Um, it's just real life stuff, you guys. And, you know, like, I would never out anybody, like, and I am very protective of that. But at at the same time, like, without sharing someone's name or whatever, like, I think, like I said, it's, I've had to deal, when you have someone like that that you know or that is in your family or someone that, you know, and then, you know, it's hard on you. And I think that there's so many people that do deal with that. And I have felt so alone over the years. Certainly not by Brad. I mean, my gosh, Brad has, like, always been what is happening on my camera always been so supportive and um is that Waylon digging a rug oh, he's digging a rug but you do feel like sometimes you're the only one dealing with stuff stuff like this it's always a cloud in the back of your mind you're trying to be a good mom you're trying to break that cycle of you know you want to be a good mom or you want to be there you know and do, do all these things and I'm so proud of myself but at the same time, it's like, I want to protect her from any of, of that. And it's like, you're trying to balance these things. You're trying to be there. Then not, and it's like, I have never, like, I, and I have a friend that's, but you know, I have friends that have been with me through all of it, like people that, you know, I can talk to. But like, sometimes like, I feel like I've not comforted, but like if I see someone that maybe I just see a slight inkling of like, like even on a TV show where someone's dealt with something like that or they're in a position where, you know, they have a family member that's causing some you know, some strain or whatever or, you know, and it's not even like this is a person that he, I can't even help, you know, like they don't want the help, but there's so many people around them enabling them and it's hurting everyone at the same time. And it's like you can't force people to 
do anything. I've certainly tried everything I can, and I mean, I could, it's been, it's just all my adult life. Do you know what I mean? Um, and even just different issues. You know, like when I was a kid, it just kind of manifested itself in different ways then. But, you know, with this person. But like, it is a, I know that so many of you probably have dealt with maybe things like this, and that's the only reason I would want to share, like, what I've gone through and maybe how I've coped or how I didn't or, you know, just anything that can make you feel positive and better, that you're doing the right thing, that you're, you know, I don't know. So, but it's just, you know, that has just been a mess because I hadn't, I've really been standing my ground and really been focusing on my family and we've been so happy the last several months and then you know I get pulled back into everything and then I get just you know it just hap all this just happens all over again. It's just hurt all over again. And it's like a kick in the stomach and I just can't I don't want to get all into it. I do want to get into it cuz like I said I would love to help or to make someone feel less alone about it, but at the same time I do want to be protective of people and I don't know so whatever um so that's that's what I'm dealing with so anyways that's what this has been going on but um I don't know y'all I just so it's just I know and now let's talk about home stuff but you know I guess it's just to me sometimes I just want y'all to understand that like I'm things in my life aren't all like let me show you these cookies and this lamp and all this fun home stuff you know what I'm saying this is I, I can separate that, and I'm not that much of an idiot where if I see someone on YouTube talking about that, I just assume that's their whole life. I'm not saying that's an idiotic thing to do, but I do think sometimes people see that, and they just, not even an idiotic thing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you've just never seen that. I don't know. It's just a mess. But anyways, yeah, and then this week we were supposed to be on, you know, our big trip for Olivia's birthday. Of course, we can't sold that because I ain't going to Disney World and, like, paying out the yang to go like we do, which we always do Disney big and then have to do it this way, like, and who freaking know, and like I said, like, I don't, I don't know, it's just, that is not where, I just, I don't want to be there, I, no, like, come on, and anyway, so, whatever, so let's just, let's get into it, a lot of, okay, so I'm going to show you guys some cutesy little things that I got, some little ideas that I did around the house, some things, that, some big things that are going on, we started the basement, um, I want to show you guys the credenza that's in the other room. I was honestly going to film in front of it, but it's kind of darker right there. It was, I, have, I was having a lot of light in here, so I thought I'd film here. Talk about the chairs a little. Talk about some updates um, with my fake non-usable bar cart. We'll, we'll get into it. Y'all know, like, I'm not a fan of bar carts. I'm not a fan. Here's why. And I've, I've, I've done this whole spiel before. This used to be an end table over there. And it was decorated kind of the same. I have my tea set and little things. But, like, when someone is like, here's my bar cart, fully functional. These are the drinks. These are the glasses that we use every day. Here's all of our liquor. And it's like, you have, like, children and dogs. And here's an ice bucket full of ice on the bottom. And I'm like, that would not pass inspection. Like, clearly you've never worked in a restaurant, which who the hell cares? Like, you're in your own house. But I don't want my ice bucket full of dog hair. I just don't. Um, I'm not serving people out of these glasses. If I did, I'd wash them, okay? That's a pain in the ass. But I have them here because they're just pretty. They're like my little bubble glasses. I've got, you know. I want to talk about candles. That's a really good one. And, um, oh, I, I'll show you a close-up of this table. But I found, the, or I saw, this is a really good candle. It's the um, Joe Malone. My friend gave it to me for Christmas. Oh, so good. The Wild Berry Bramble. This smells so good. I saw an ice bucket oh my gosh, like a couple years ago at this, I don't know if it was at the antique store or at this little like secondhand store, like a thrift, like not like a thrift, like a consignment store. I always regretted not getting it, but it looks kind of like this. Like it had the little coves, but I think it was more bubbled out. Anyways, this just reminds me of that little ice bucket. Anyways, that's, that's what's going on back there. And then my chairs. Um, I've talked about these before. I feel like I've never like really showed them close up. You guys, these are so nice. If you see them kind of in the background of some of my, you know, my photos and stuff, people have asked about them. Um, I got them, like, at the end of summer. They come in a set of two for chairs. I think they are, like, wildly affordable. They are so, like, comfortable quality. Um, they're just really nice. I think that they go really well with this table. I've had this table for years and years. Nothing is new in here, like, other than the chairs. Um, I've just been kind of playing musical chairs for years. I use some of my kitchen chairs. I use my acrylic ghost chairs, which those are so great. Like, I always keep those stacked up in the attic. We use them outside. Like, we have, they're just great chairs, but, um, I don't know. I just really wanted something 
that was right and I'm, I love these they're a little different they're not too modern looking they they still kind of go with because I'm kind of like I like modern stuff but I like traditional stuff I like the mix I always have and a few different pieces can really change up the look of everything like I've said before but these aren't so like spaceshipy looking they're just sleek and like they look like now modern you know they're not like okay these were pulled out of like you know storage or something I don't know I just they're just so comfortable the color is really nice I'll link to those and then I really haven't updated much else um in here I did put my these glasses over there let me show you what that table looks like I don't know if you can really see it but I have those nice glasses I'll link to those glasses those teal ones oh my gosh those are so nice um but I used to just have like my candlesticks on that table and I never really like my sideboard thing I never really you know I don't know, but it's kind of cute to put like, I don't know, like a can I mean, obviously I always have, that's all what I always had was, were candles or candlesticks. But, um, I collect like glassware, a basement, um, cabinets, which aren't even there anymore, are, were full of, like I have just a ton of glasses I collect and then my, in there I have a lot of pretty ones too up in my, upper part of my kitchen, which I, I know, I still need to do that kitchen video. It's just like something always comes up where I'm like, oh, I want to change this. I'm not quite ready. I need to just get over that and just show it. But then I hate that because I always cringe later when I'm like, oh, why did I show it? It wasn't ready, you know? Um, but anywho, set out your nice glasses. If they're beautiful, enjoy looking at them. Like these, I love those. Those iridescent ones, they look like bubbles. Like, like they're just beautiful, you know? And then um, the ice buckets, like, it's just, they're just so pretty. And then I'll kind of show what I have. So that's kind of what changed the vibe in here. I think chairs make a room. I want to talk about some of my beauty stuff, but I want to get through some of this home stuff first and share with you guys these cookies and this pie. Y'all, this little lamp is from Target. And it should be much more expensive than it is. And I will tell you what, now, if you are watching this, I got, I got the last one that my store had. It was like, I found it online. It's from like the McGee & Co. line or whatever. Like they just released these new things. And they had one left at my store. So I just went, okay. And I set it for pickup and I went and picked it up. They put it in my car. It was great. But then, you know, I showed my friend and she's like, oh, you can't even order it. Well, you can't order it like this. But if you go to the link and you select with CFL bulb, it will come packaged and those you can get shipped. And I feel like this is going to be something that's not going to last. Like it's wood, but it almost looks like stone. Um, like like a travertine stone like those little rings that I have but here's what I will show you this lamp that's in my family room this is another update so a f my friend my best friend ordered this lamp she ended up with two it's a long story it is like a flipping six hundred dollar lamp like it's a very nice lamp okay and she was like I have an extra do you want it and I was like yes don't even care what it like yet yeah, like yes bring it on bring it over and it made that area of the bookshelf. It added like, it's kind of like sculptural. It is huge. But it's one of those lamps, kind of like my, um, those Kelly Worcester lamps that I have. And even those that are in my bedroom that are a little nicer, that have this fabric cord. You can just tell when a lamp is nicer, okay? You know, it, they're just better. And then it has this little um, brass, like, dimmer switch. So if you put an incandescent bulb in it, or a, dim a dimmable bulb, whatever, you can dim it and it's just beautiful it's smooth it's like oh. so that lamp okay wonderful and then I saw this and I bought I didn't know it was gonna be like this not like quality right I just thought okay target lamp whatever I've gotten plenty of target lamps over the years they're fine but you know what I'm talking about there's a difference okay between like an expensive like I just hate to say that but there is um, so when I got this, I was just shocked because it is made exactly the same. Like, exactly the same. So, do yourself a favor. I think it was like $30. It was either $29 or $39. Whatever. I don't care. I would have paid $59 for it. It's so cute. And I have that clear table. One of the clear, my clear waterfall tables. I have one in my um, office or like in my closet, whatever. Like I use it as my desk. That I don't really sit up much, but it's just nice to have. Um, I put that other one, because I have two of those, I put the second one in my, like, the landing upstairs, because I like to still see, like, the spindles, and I like to still see all that. Anything I've ever put there over the years never stays very often, because it just, I feel like it's just in the way, whatever. Okay, so I put that there, 
and I'm gonna put this on top of it like on a stack of books or like just put it is just such a good lamp you guys I think it would go with anybody's decor style it, I love the shade so grab that and um, a few other decor updates so oh my gosh this week I have a new rug coming for this living room this rug is garbage it has not held up for crap like it is, it is the worst rug on earth when you guys even ask for links to this rug I'm like I'm not even gonna give it to you because you'll be sorry I'll get into that more like but anyways I'll get into that more when the other one comes but the new one's coming I think on Wednesday of next week and then I ordered something in June that is just now coming a week from tomorrow that's gonna be delivered that I'm putting in our foyer and I am so I cannot even tell you guys like I said I've been waiting for this since June and I used to never order stuff that was back ordered or that you know if I couldn't get it immediately I was like an instant gratification person now I've really learned especially over the last couple years and just over the last like 12 years of owning a home or having a even before that having a place whatever that you're decorating yourself you learn what you've held on to and what you've gotten rid of and some of the things I've held on to for years are my cheapest things, but I just loved them so much. Like, but a lot of things I've gotten rid of are things that were just space filler that I just got quick or that I settled for. And I'm like, who cares? Wait in, wait six months, wait three months, wait however many months to get something, you know, if you think you're gonna have it forever. So, and I want to show you uh, what I've been doing. But oh my gosh, I really want to show you these. I'll show you the food. Okay, whatever. I'll show you the food and the beauty stuff in a minute. But um, I'll give you an update on the bath or the basement because it kind of has to do with it. But in our powder room, it's not offensive. Like, it's this, like, pedestal sink that's, like, honestly pretty. It's, like, kind of curvy. I would rather have that than, like, some stupid, like, square, you know, thing from Home Depot, which I saw a post in our neighborhood the other day that, like, I was, like, and I even showed Brad, and he was, like, oh, my God. Okay, so the people in our, okay, whatever. So I live, we live in a neighborhood, and obviously, okay, obviously, whatever. Neighborhood Facebook pages are the worst and they're also the greatest, okay? I hate, I, I, I don't get on Facebook much. I hate to say I hate Facebook. I just don't get on there much, okay? I want to get better about my page because I feel like I've been, what's weird is like I don't gain any followers on Instagram probably because I'm like blocking people left and right. I'm kidding, but, um, or, or YouTube. I mean, YouTube, like, hello. Like, no, never. It's not, the million's never going to happen. Okay, let's just get over it. But on Facebook, I gained like a thousand followers, a, like it's crazy, okay, like a month, like this month I gained like 900, and it's steady, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, so do with that what you will, and it's like a lot, it's a lot of people, so I'm like, I need to start posting more there, like, because I don't, like I never post there, so I'm sorry if you're on my Facebook page and you're like, who, what, what's she doing, like, I, I listen, just, y'all know, like I gotta get into, th whatever, just let me get into it. But our neighborhood Facebook page is like a treasure sometimes. And um, it's just really funny because like, you know the people that are unhinged and you know like, you know, so I'm, I lurk for the most part. Um, but it's good, you know, to see like news and stuff. So these people in our neighborhood, and like we've redone a lot in our house. So like it doesn't look, you know, I mean like we've redone the bath, every single bathroom we've redone at this point. The basement, we're getting there. Um, which that was done like eight years ago. Our house is like over 20 years old, right? But it's like, this pedestal sink that's just round, it's not like one of those shaped weird, it's just a round one and then it goes down and then it just has like a, it's actually kind of cool and it's porcelain. I'd rather have that than some like piece of crap, do you know what I mean? It's fine. I'm gonna, I want to put like new faucets, but whatever, it's fine. These people are like, what have you guys done with this god awful faucet? And all these people are like, let me show you what I did with mine, that's what I did with mine. And it's literally just like this box with like a door and like a plasticky looking countertop even if it's like a stone it just looks it's like and I'm like oh, and all these people are like oh my god that's amazing that's amazing I get it we all have different tastes but like sometimes I don't know so I'm not like ready to rip the whole thing apart because I think that's fine but I do want to kind of spruce it up a little I think I'm going to take down the wallpaper that I did on that back wall and like just but anyways here's what so what I've been doing I really kind of like this whole thing so in my I've always had this little tray in there that has a candle in it and like some little room freshener or whatever and like an extra towel. Well, so then I was like, I'm gonna like spruce it up and put some cute stuff on there, okay? I'm gonna put some perfume. What are you saying in this reflection? Um, I'm gonna put some perfume on there. I'm gonna put this hand cream, which this is so good, the Byredo Suede. I have the matching hand soap in there, an extra little pretty towel, a little 
um, thing. And I've got this little dish that was in, at my grandma's house. It's like a little, um, I don't even know where she got it. It's really old. It says England on the bottom. England something. And it has like this cool stamp on the bottom. So it's a shell. And I put my Beverly Hills Hotel soaps in there. And then I put this pretty bottle of Chanel in there. Because I'm like, someone might want to use that. I might want to use that. Hell, if I'm down there. Because like in the drawer, because I have this on like this little shallow um, table in there, which I kind of want to do something different. I want I need something with storage, but I don't love the table that it's sitting on. But whatever, it's fine. Um, I would always have like a hairbrush in there or some lip gloss. So I don't have to run upstairs if I want. So I'm like, why not put some perfume that I like on there? You know what I mean? So listen, if you have like powder rooms or you have little sections in your house, don't just put your stuff, like your perfume and stuff, like in your bathroom. Like sprinkle that all around. And we do that in our basement too. So in our basement bathroom, like I said, it was done like eight years ago before we moved in. It was like newly finished. We didn't pick out any of the stuff. You guys, I painted it the most beautiful color. We were gonna get it done professionally with the bar and stuff. And then Brad and I are kind of like, we're not like we're pretty handy and so we were like let's just take down the cabinets ourselves and see what it looks like so we took down the upper cabinets in the bar you know my dad just got what he filled up all the characters he got the dried eye mochi you got that you got it it was you know what I, how did you, you do know it? what top score you know what my score was no it was 12 million <gasps> you have to fill up all the characters how long did it take you it took me a long time but what happens is you love once you get the last one uh -huh. it called your ball uh -huh. and then it starts a movie and then you, it gives you both. Were you really excited? And, we did real good. <laughs> and, and that's cool. And when when Darth Vader and that guy fight, they they count up the score. Oh. And you got nine million. Whoa, whoa, Dad, that's cool. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. You know, big things call it professional, but then we started thinking, like, I had this little list, like, I want to redo the bathroom down there, I want to redo the bar, I want to do the gym, and I want to paint the basement. And so I had all these little, like, tick marks on my list, and I was like, we'll just call our friend, you know, that does all that. And then I started thinking, we can't, I can paint the bathroom myself. Like, it's tiny, you know, it's got this nice um, vanity that has, like, you know, it's just like a piece of furniture. It's, it's much nicer than what I was saying, like, all those other people were posting. But it has, like, a black marble top, which is pretty, because I want it to be very, like, dark down there. So I picked out the paint down there and everything, and I, you know, I have the idea for our bar, because we have like our beverage fridge down there, this really pretty like glass wine fridge, and it's nice, but then there were these cabinets on top that were shaped so odd. It was always so weird. It was like there was a cutout for a microwave above the sink, but there wasn't a microwave. They were just the ug not ugly cabinets, because I don't mind dark cabinets. They were just so weirdly configured. Brad took them off the wall in like two seconds. It changed the whole thing. I ordered these glass shelves. We're gonna like light it. We're gonna put like the bottles up there and then like style it all cool. And I think that's gonna make such a big difference. So I already painted that one wall. We're gonna have someone professionally come and paint the whole basement. But I painted the bathroom and did the bathroom. And I'm gonna do that kind of vibe in there where like, yeah, just QC, cause that's a bathroom that we use like, you know, if you're out at the pool or whatever, we go out the back on there, you know, to get to the pool. But then, like, this room is up two stories, if that makes sense. Because it, our house, like, drops off down there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the main level of our house. But you walk straight out through there, you know, through that back part to go to the pool. So you don't have to go down. And it's not, like, at basement level, which I really like. But there's... The way our house is, is like when you look out this window, there's a big staircase that goes down and around and then you can go down and there's another little patio and the bathroom or the basement and stuff. So I want that bathroom to be something like people can go in and use at the pool and you know what I'm saying? Like that can be like the nice bathroom. So I want to put some nice stuff down there. I have the most beautiful like pink marble table and I know that sounds so weird, but... The vibe down there, I'm kind of doing like polo loungy, like Beverly Hills Hotel, but not like, oh wait, let's stripe the ceiling and do everything pink and green and like goofy. Like I'm not doing that. I just want it to look like dark and rich and cool and just, I don't know how to describe it, okay? But the color that I used for the bathroom is that deep dark green like polo lounge color. And it is so pretty. The bathroom has all this pretty molding in it. I painted everything, the door, the everything. And I think I'm actually gonna paint that cabinet just so that everything looks like almost like lacquered, like the same color, do you know what I mean? And yeah, I thought about having someone redo the shower and everything and eventually maybe, yeah, but it's fine for now. I mean, it's white, it's like whatever, you know, who cares? I'm not gonna do all that right now. But I just feel like there's some things I can we can do on our own. Um, we're gonna actually starting the gym soon, so. I'm excited about that, and I want to share with you, there's a time and a place basically to do stuff, you know, a kitchen, a big bathroom renovate, yeah, obviously, but like, 
I feel like we can do those things ourselves. When I really started breaking it down, I was like, you know. So I'm excited to show you all that as it comes together a little more. And um, what else? Okay, let me show you a few cute things. This thing is so cute. I, or it looks like, to me, it looks like a jelly or it looks like a gel something. This I'm going to put on the new piece that's coming for the foyer. Because my foyer, I really like it very like sleek and open. I've found over the years I don't like so many like chairs or benches in there. I like a surface to put a candle on, to put something cutesy on, but I don't want something low like desky. I need something kind of sleek, slightly taller, but not too tall. It has a little bit of stuff. I found, you guys are going to flip when you see that. I cannot wait to show you what's coming for that. Like I said, I waited on it so long, but this was kind of like, I envisioned like putting this on top of it. And I ordered this, no joke, in September, and it just now came. So, um, I don't know. Sometimes it's like so freaking slow, I don't get it. But anyway, speak, like, but yeah, the little tray thing and stuff, like I said, I got a different table for the little bathroom downstairs, like pink marble. Um, kind of like the bathrooms in the Beverly Hills Hotel, like in the older part, you know, like where like it's just pink, I don't know, it's like the, it, the whole front of the table is like that and it's really shallow and I put it kind of on a wall and maybe put like a little tray with some things like that on it and some perfume, you know, just some cutesy little things, I don't know. I just love little like moments like that, you know, or if you've got nice little knickknacks or little collections of things, like display them, but like enjoy them, like do something cute with it, right? Um... Let's talk about, okay, before, let me, okay, so candles, y'all, this video I feel is going to be like over an hour long, sometimes I don't gauge that, so right, I'm like, wow, it was only 30 minutes, but I do feel like, I feel like I've been talking about a lot of stuff, so after Christmas, I kind of had this, like, none of my candles, like, I didn't like any candles, you know, like, I was trying to burn these other different candles, like, I, I love Bath and Body Works candles for Christmas, or whatever, like, specific holiday scents, I love their marshmallow fireside, that one you can't go wrong with, I love that, all over the house, love it, but, like, sometimes I don't want something, like, so sweet, and it's really hard to find, like, I, I know that sounds dumb, but I felt like every candle I was lighting, even ones that I liked years ago, were just, like, oh, like, they just were turning me off, and Brad was even, like, that's, awful like I had some that smelled like bread which I always really liked that French baguette candle and like now that I'm I just it takes my breath like I can't do it like I don't understand what it is so it was a few of the ones that I really liked um these overalls ones and like I said I think there's just a few that I'm like I can justify doing because you don't have to burn them very long um but they really smell up your house and I actually really burn my candles and I see some people sometimes have these, like, these nice candles, and they've just, like, never been burned. And I'm like, how? Like, I just, it's like a ritual. Like, I just love burning my candles. I love these. And I think this is, no. Either I've had two of this one or two of the other one, but the Anthurium, which is good, too. And I just got another one of those. Sephora sells all of these Overose candles now, and I just, I love the packaging. Um, so this is the same candle, but it's the same color, but it's in Anthurium. Actually, let me show you. They're actually a little bit different. And I think I like... Oh, sorry. I, every, I make that noise every time I sit down. I feel like I'm getting old. Like, I feel like an old lady. Like, my back hurts all the time. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, they're slightly different color. Maybe I'm just like... I feel like they're a different color. Maybe they're not. I don't know. The Anthurium I like a little better. It smells like the Diptyque Bay, but slightly creamier, like a little less like pungent, or not pungent, strong, tart. This one's very creamy rose. Um, I love both of these, the Nudes and the Anthurium. So, and they're just beautiful. Like this one I love in my dining room. Um, this one I have in there in my living room. I just, I love those candles. And I think as you burn them is when they get better because they're just beautiful. Like you can't see how beautiful this candle is until it gets about halfway down and the light shines through it. Like they are so pretty. So Sephora was doing this thing where with like your points, you know, like your insider points, you could actually trade them in. And I think they're doing this through the 31st. You could trade them in for 15% off or 10% off. I had a $10 off. So I'm like, that's what I want to do with my Sephora points. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want all this like random stuff. You know what I mean? So anyways, I got another Anthurium. I got another, um, Overrose. Over Did I get that out already? No, this is called aesthetic. What? What the hell happened here? Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, I see, I see. Okay. 
And then they have some that are pink. I want to get the pink one because I want to put that in the bathroom downstairs. I think it'll be cute. Um, or just anywhere. I got this called Aesthetic. I don't love it. Maybe it's going to smell better as I burn it. But it smells like paint. Like latex paint mixed with like rose and powder. So, yay. And maybe a little bit of like berry. But I like the color. I think it's going to be cute. I think I'm going to put it on my mantle. But, um, I just, okay, but here's what, I know I'm like, oh, it smells gross, but th these candles smell real good. This is just one that I kind of took a chance on, okay? But normally, I get all of the holographic ones, and that's what all these, so I got another new desk, another anthurium, because honestly, like, I feel, sometimes, like, when I burn them, I'm, like, really protective, like, okay, they're getting down, like, I want to keep them, and I just, like, I want to enjoy them. I don't, like, blow through them, but at the same time, I want to enjoy them, and then, um, I got another holographic one in the anamorphine, which I've never smelled before. I should have opened that one. For, I forgot these yesterday. Anamorphic. Yeah, I haven't smelled this yet. Oh, it, it describes the scent. Okay, so new desk says roses and rain. Okay. And the, and, yeah, anthurium, black currant berries, which is bay. I told you guys years ago, the B-A-I-E-S, the bay. I said, it translates, that's berries. Everybody's like, no, it's not. That's not even what it means. I'm French or I'm this or I'm that. Yeah, maybe not, but it's berries, okay? Bay is berries. Okay, so anther oh yeah. Okay. So it says the anthurium's black currant berries. This is one I said smelled like bay, rose petals, and lychee syrup. And anamorphine, what does the aesthetic say? This one didn't have a box. Or it has a box. It's just you know what? Is this just their basic candle? Because it was just it has the brands like Over Rose Paris. But it doesn't have like a name. It just says Over Rose Paris, the mood for rose. Over Rose aesthetic. Okay, is the marriage of white roses and Palo Santo. This smells nothing like Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. I like burned. I used to burn Palo Santo oil all the time. And Palo Santo, pure white petals. It smells like very fresh, subtly, subtly, rom sub subtly. Subtly romantic roses is scent as if you just submerge yourself in a tub of fresh white petals and like jelly or something. I don't know. That's a little strange to me. But I'm I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna like it, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like it. But something about these candles, they just smell very rich. They have such a good I don't know, they just they're just really good. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I'm just like I want to find something at Bath and Body Works. I love the mar marshmallow fireside, but then it's like honestly, sometimes those candles to me the three wick, you think, oh, these are so tiny. They're really not, these don't, yeah, they may have less wax, but they burn so much slower and they still scent your house. Those three wick candles, they burn in like two days because it's three wicks, like they're just gone in like a heartbeat. I love the Tom Dixon air, like don't even get me started on that, like I have the big one. And it's almost, it's like half and it doesn't look as pretty when it's like down, you know, but like it smells so good, but it's so stupid expensive. Um, so I don't know, but, so those smell nice, and then also, so I don't know, I'm, I like the nicer candles, I do, so I'm like, maybe I should just, I don't know, like, use some of my nicer ones, and just enjoy them, because that's what they're for, do you know what I mean? Um, and then also, I've really been enjoying this spray, this is kind of what got me into, like, sitting perfumes around, and cute little, like, in bathrooms, I'm not, like, decorating with my perfume, but this is kind of, it feels like that. And I sit it on my coffee table in here in the living room. And I just think it's so pretty, but it's the Byredo Treehouse Spray. And years ago, when I got the Treehouse, um, uh, what is it? The Treehouse candle, I was like, this smells like a crayon. Like, I just don't get it, whatever. And then as I smelled it, like as I burned it more and more, I kind of fell in love with it. And it has like this very just soft, beautiful scent. And whenever I spray, oh, it's like I'm really starting to. It's like a kind of greenish, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, okay? It's such a hard scent, it's not perfumey at all. It's homey, like fresh, expensive, like, like homey, like expensive, like nice, I don't know, it just smells good. Sometimes too, like I'll spray the little Chanel around, you know, like around the foyer or whatever, but but people notice this and they're like, I'm like, I don't want people over, but my best friend was over the other day and she was like, your house smells so good and it was that, you know? So, um, okay, that, we're getting through it, you guys. We're getting through it. Okay, I'm gonna do the beauty stuff last. Oh, one more thing, okay. So this was like kind of a little whim purchase and they totally got me with the ads. It came like from overseas, it took forever. 
smells like a can of spray paint like it's one of those kind of deals right when, when it came but I just thought it was so cute it wasn't that expensive it's a vase that looks like a Louis Vuitton speedy like an you know like one of those leather ones like those emprunt ones and I just think it's really cute I was like I could put that in the middle of the table I could put it in my closet somewhere I could sit it anywhere I don't know I just thought it was cute and unique and um little vase okay so I thought that was just super precious. I've never ordered anything else from that website. I don't know, okay? I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. I, but I saw it like on a, was it like a Instagram ad or something? Or like when you're scrolling and you're like, oh, that catches my eye, whatever. And I just got totally suckered in and sucked in. Okay, you guys. So let's talk about this. <laughs> let's talk about, let's talk about this. So years ago, I got this flyer, maybe like a year or two ago, not years ago. I got this flyer in the mail. It was like a like a menu for Milk Bar, okay? It's like a mail order dessert company, right? And I've always kind of kept it in, we have like this little drawer, like a little section of our kitchen where like I have all of our like takeout menus and things like that. So I just shoved it in there. I'm like, if I want to order, great, order dessert. So this Thanksgiving, obviously we didn't do a whole lot. Like my oven, you know, <laughs> don't even want to talk about the oven. Um, we're getting there. Like we'll, we'll get there one day. We'll, we'll cross that bridge. Like I've got, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, so I order, you know, I made a few things, but then I also thought I'm just going to order desserts. I ordered this pumpkin thing that was so good from them. And what they're kind of famous for is this milk bar pie. Now it looks like a hot mess. This is the best thing you'll ever put in your mouth. It's so good. It's like, if you like, it's like a hard, like custardy hard. If you watch them making this, like when they, they pour the syrup in, it's like it's like a creamy, like goldenish like syrup, and then they bake it. It's a little mushy. It's got the the you know the powdered sugar on top. I don't know how to describe it other than it's like pure deliciousness. It's not like overly tasting like one thing or another. It's not vanilla chocolate. It's just it tastes. I don't know how to describe it. Like a like I'm not a huge pecan pie fan. But like, you know, like the filling of a pecan pie minus the pecans, if it were a little less syrupy, less sweet, and like baked like a pie, like a hard pie. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. So anyways, I loved it, and, and I ended up like giving half of it to Brad's parents, and they didn't even eat it, end up eating, because they were eating the pumpkin pie, or the pumpkin stuff, and then later they called, they were like, oh my gosh, that pie was so good. Like, that was the best pie, you know? And so, anyways, I was thinking about it, and I was like, I'm gonna, so here's what happened. So also, a company that I worked with was sweet enough to send me, was it for Christmas? I think it was around Christmas, they sent me a box. I, I got this huge box on the doorstep from Milk Bar. And I thought, I didn't know what it was. I was like, oh my gosh, like somehow Milk Bar has like, is sending me something, like they don't know who I am, but oh my gosh, it's, I was like so excited, right? No, so it was from this amazing company that I work with, and it was a, um, it was like just thanks for whatever, and it was this tin with assorted cookies, okay? This cookie that they have that is the marshmallow, I don't know exactly what it's called, um, but it's, anyways, it's marshmallow something. These cookies are so flipping good. So all the cookies were good. Two of the cookies in the pack were called corn cookies, and I was like, corn cookies? Like, what? So y'all, I ordered a whole box of these corn cookies. If you like cornbread, the sweet kind, you know what I mean? Not like the garbagey kind, like the good sweet kind. That's what this is, but it's like a cookie. I have, this just came, like it literally just came, like right before I started filming, I got this off my doorstep. Like I haven't even put the pie in the fridge yet. <laughs> you guys, I hate to do this to you, I really do. Corn, like it's a corn cookie, like how weird. Oh my god, you guys. Hmm, made me feel tingly. Hmm. So yeah, no oh, great dog here. I got a whole ten of them. Whole like. Oh, I'm gonna like the calories. I'm not going to. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. There's a few things that I wanted to do, like people that I wanted to send stuff to, or oh my gosh, like if you couldn't see someone for a birthday or an event, whatever, send send them one of these daggone pies. 
send them this pie, okay? It's the best thing they'll ever put in their mouth. They'll be like, oh my gosh, love you so much. Send them some assorted cookies. Honestly, send them the corn cookies and the ones that say marshmallow. I liked all the other, I, I fully ate every assorted cookie in that box. Like in three days, but um, the ones that are marshmallow and the ones that are the corn cookies are so good. Oh, there was a blueberry cream cookie that was good too. Mmm, those were all good. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, and let me before we go talk a few beauty things because I think my last video was it a beauty video? I talked about some of these things, but what I'm wearing today on my lips. Usually I have like a like a lip gloss or something. I've been doing this lip liner. This is the one that I talked about in the video. Best. I mean, honestly. I hate to say it. it's like this is probably anything that I'm using at the moment that I like better than anything else I'm gonna say is the best I do like this better than the pillow talk um, or anything else that I've used it's the Lancome natural mauve I will link to this and you could maybe use some of your check your Sephora points and maybe you could get a good deal on that and also when I got that I got this and this is the Lancome lipstick that's what I'm wearing today with the lip liner the drama matte nude essential i will link to that and put the color there's a few different numbers on here but it's the cream matte i'm not a fan of goopy lipstick i love a lip balm i don't mind or lip gloss i don't mind lip glosses that are glossy but i don't like a creamy lipstick that's goopy this is like feels like i'm wearing nothing it's thin it stays on but the color you guys is perfection i love the um the container it's just so like luxe and feels nice like all their packaging but this color you guys is just perfect you can just do like you don't have to put much on it at all um i don't have a mirror so i don't even know what i'm doing but this formula is so good it's not drying which i love that too i love a matte lipstick but i love the feel of a hydrating like gloss this doesn't feel like this feels like thin but comforting but it's not gonna rub off and it's not goopy. Very good. And then you, you, but it has so much color to it that you can just barely tap it on or just do a little swipe. So I love that. And then let me tell you, okay, so I've been kind of upset about this because, all right, let me, let me talk about. So I feel like my face, my skin has looked better than ever. Um, all of my, the only place I, I get filler in my lips, but the only place that I had filler before was in this tear trough, which. Honestly, she's like, this is like the tiniest amount I've ever done. And it, like, you could feel just, it was so small. It's gone completely. It was probably, I mean, regular filler, like a thick filler would disappear in 10 months, right? And this was like the tiniest little feathery baby bit. And um, it's gone. Like, I mean, that's been that long. So I want to get it done again. But honestly, I feel like I don't look as bad as I did before I got it done. Because mine were very hollow. It just made me look like I did before, which I like. Um, but what I've been doing is every night... And in the morning, I put something on, like, this is the HA5. And um, Missy, who does my injectable, says she feels like, you know, she's had patients tell her before that, like, people use this. They rub it where they have filler, and they feel like it makes their filler last longer. I don't know. But that's what filler is made out of is hyaluronic acid. This has five different kinds. The spheres, like, are actually small enough. And, like, they were, if you read about this, it's very interesting. This is made by the company that actually makes Botox. It's, like, Allergan. It's their Skin Medica brand of, um, like, clinical-grade skincare, which I like. So I put just a tiny bit on my fingers. Like after I wash my face and then I use, you know, I might use like my Kate Somerville anti-back just for like breakouts or whatever. I'll take this and I don't put it everywhere now. She does and some people do. But you can wet your fingers just a tiny bit to make it go just a tiny bit longer. And I just put the tiniest bit and I just put it here because this is light. But y'all know I'm very breakout prone. I can't put it in places where I'd normally break out because I get little white bumps if I do that. Um, but oh my gosh, you guys, this has changed. I feel the way like this looks. I feel like my skin looks more plump. I put it here and then I rub a little on my lips. Um, I forgot a cookie. He just discovered there were cookies. Oh, here, lay down. Here, lay down. Come here. I'll give you a clone cookie. My clone cookie. Okay. Um, get away from my pie. Don't you, don't you mess with that pie. Um, see, he knows they're good. Down, buddy. Down, down, down. Down, down. It's torture. I'm so sorry, then. Um. Okay, anywho. Okay, so whatever. I'll I'll do that, and then I'll put my moisturizer over it, but it really makes a difference. But what I've been doing is I take this TNS Plus Advanced Serum, and I'll put it all over. 
doesn't break me out. This has like the human growth factor ingredient. I don't know, super anti-aging. I feel like I have been able to tell a huge difference in my skin. I don't like lift, it feels like it's tighter right here. This stuff, this is the third one that I've had. There's only one ounce of product in this and it is like 209, it's very expensive, okay? I don't know if I can justify that anymore. Like, if I can get it at a discount, I know someone right now saying, I'm gonna call her out for eating and talking at the same time, get over it, okay? Then I'll get it or, cause I love this more than anything, but I just can't justify that. So I think I'm gonna go back to my, so I decided I'm gonna try my, um, the Natura Bissy, the Diamond Serum, or the Diamond, whatever it is. Cause that kind of, I use it in the same way and it has the same type of like description of like what it does. I'm gonna try that again. And it's like $115, but oh, that's expensive, but it's in a bigger tube, but lasts a lot longer. You're so soft under your neck. How'd you get to be so soft? Okay, clunkily. I'll give you my last bite. I always do. But here's what. I had to eat it because he's going to eat it. I have to hold it or he's going to eat it. Um, okay. He's like so on edge like he's dying to rip this out of my hand right now. He's very polite though. He doesn't do that. But something that I've rediscovered. I told you all just to get comfortable because I, I mean, we've been here a long time I'm realizing, but. I was going to give you the last piece. Better not go yet. Here. Okay, you lucky duck. Okay. I don't have any more. I have no more that are open. Okay, oh, here's a little crumb. Here, that's one thing. Yeah. Okay, so, so what I was doing though, is I would take in the daytime, I would take this before my makeup, because I always do, like I said, those steps at night, but I would take, I would take this. Then I put eye cream on top of it or whatever. I would take this and I would put it here and then I'd put my makeup over it. and sometimes I would notice some pilling, you know, like it would kind of roll up a little under my concealer or under my foundation or whatever. It would just, so there's certain products that do that. This is a great one too, the Clinique Moisture Surge Eye Gel, the filler. Oh, this is so good. And I wear this on days when I, this has lasted so long, probably because I don't use it every day. I just use it on the days that I don't wear makeup because it pills under uh, makeup as well. But I found a product that has hyaluronic acid that does not do that, that is made to like go under makeup. And this is a product that I really made a lot of fun of a couple years ago. Maybe, I don't know. The um, Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Make Skin Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. I mean, I saw people like raving about this, like, oh, it gives you like this diamond shine. Like, like they're putting it on after, I'm like, or like taking the drops, like drip them, I'm like, like, what is it doing? You know what I mean? Or they would put them on, and I'm like, I don't really see, like, I don't, I didn't get it. I didn't get what it was, okay? And I was using it the way they were showing people using it, and I'm like, like, I don't even, like, yeah, it made my skin look smooth, but I don't see this, like, liquid glass effect, okay? Because that's what it says. So, what I've been doing with that, on the days that I wear makeup, or in the morning, you know, I wash my face, whatever, I put, the, I pat this all around here, and I'm not kidding, my makeup looks so good during the day, like, if makeup goes right on over it. I don't put it all over, I just put it in this whole area, even like up around, like I put a lot, you know, like all up under my eyes. And then I can use another eye cream over it if I want, but I'm not kidding you guys, like I'll look at myself throughout the day and it is so smooth. It's, it kind of plumps up like any little fine lines. It just makes your skin look like young and like bouncy and good. So, um, try that. Sometimes, you know, you can go back to things and discover that they weren't garbage. If you once thought they were. Wow, I feel like we've covered a lot of topics. I did not show you, after all of this, I was going to set up in there and show you that credenza and show you what was inside of it. I don't think we have time. I want to show you the basement a little bit, just here and there, some little peaks. We'll do another video coming up soon, and just like, I'll show you this in like another upcoming video, okay? We don't have to wait and like make it a home video or make it this. We could just, whatever. I'll show you in the next video where I'm just like talking. And I was thinking about showing you guys my, um, like the beauty closet, like the organization, like how I'm organizing, how I'm organizing like my beauty stuff, like in the closet upstairs in our bathroom, and like some um, fragrances, and then I'll show you that credenza and stuff. We'll do that next week. 
so if there's anything that I left out oh and then by next week I should be ready to show you like the bar because I think at least that that side is gonna be done and then a little bit of the bathroom so I'll kind of give you guys a peek of that too next week um, so anyways you guys thanks for watching I like this is just kind of like I've, I've always said just so nice to just sit down and talk like we're talking to friends you know I always want to share exactly what I want to share stay true to myself um, and just do exactly what I want to do on here which is what I've always done and do things that I think are happy and helpful and things that you can relate to I can't relate to everybody that I watch we don't all you know, I don't I don't look at someone and say, oh, I relate to you because we look the same or I relate to you because we live in the same type of house or I have the whatever or we have the same handbag or we have the same... That's not what makes me relate to some. I just relate to people that are just real no matter what they're talking about. Um, you know, I like all different kinds of... You know, all different kinds of like topics and things to talk about or to watch if I'm going to watch a video. But um, I just want you guys to always know that like, you know... I am real with you. I do want to share things, um, but I want to share things not for my benefit, like, oh, I know I'll get a lot of viewers if I talk about this, or let me just call this out. I want to do things that are helpful and that make you guys feel good or something that you could relate to if you've gone through a tough time, whether it's, you know, showing you things that will make you happy or um, giving you, like, some... I don't know, like just some uplifting chit chat, I don't know. Or whether it's me just saying, hey, yeah, I, I can relate to some hard times too, uh, because that's not really what I do here. I don't, like I said, I don't dive deep into those kinds of things usually, and it's not because I don't want to, it's just because I do want to be respectful of other people. Um, but at the same time, and I'll say it again, I do feel like, if you've gone through something, there you have you can tell your story. You can talk about what you've dealt with, or how you've dealt with situations, or how things have affected you and your family. Um, you don't have to out anybody. You don't. But I just you know at some point, I would love to get deeper into that because I know it's something that a lot of people deal with. Um, and I'm sorry if like I'm vague or whatever, but I just wanted to talk about what felt real and what felt right to talk about today. And my heart goes out to all of you guys that have lost anyone close to you or, you know, I've, I know the eye roll from people that are like looking at, oh, COVID, you know, the death toll and this and that. Yeah, we all know the statistics. We all know that, but it doesn't mean that someone close to you or that you know that's susceptible, that's more susceptible, you know, could. Yeah, it's just sad. And it's something that no one wants. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. But um, it is, it's a mess. So, anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And um, I'll link to everything that I can. Anything that I talked about in the video. Some things that I'm wearing, even if I didn't talk about it. And um, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye, y'all.